On to race uh, number three and the third event, our class four again, but dropping back to the 1,200 uh, metres with Born to Achieve. Find himself in this class for the first time. Amazing moment was a course and distance winner in class four this season. Happy Meteor drops in class as well. Bond Ellis and roll forward from barrier two. Shimmer and Shine, last start winner down the straight, 1,000 metres. Chad Schofield, Tony Miller, Elite Spirit third, last start behind Goldie Flanker. Uh, Red Horse behind Go uh, Grand Harbour last time out. Golden Effort, of course, and winner. Two starts back and down to Lucky Coin. He was also behind Scotty Flanker last time. Potentially a fast pace here. Shimmer and Shine, Happy Meteor. Born to Achieve has been a noted runner uh, on pace uh, when he steps well. Amazing moment led all the way in a recent trial. Uh, golden efforts caught wide might press on. So there should be some pace here. A bit of a battle royale potentially for the lead early. And Shimmer and Shine is relatively inexperienced but might be leading it. Here's amazing moment. He drops in grade. He's down to class four. Significant jockey change. Uh, your man Andrew um, Alvin Long rode him last time from barrier yeah. 10. Zach Purden jumps aboard this time. So um, he looks well placed here in class four. Shimmer and shine. Always looks like it always works well on this uh, surface. He's going to have a run on it. He's by showcasing. Should be fine with it. Just barrier nine looks a bit awkward, but he's uh, last star winner who's, who's come on from that uh, win. Uh, only a young horse, so plenty of improvement on him. And I thought this horse, I didn't think he was going to be suited by the all-weather, but there was a good run from him last time. And uh, since then, his work's been pretty good, and he's a nice, big, strong horse. So I uh, thought I'd show his track work as well. All right, OK, double-figure price at the moment. Let's start off with uh, Shimmer and Shine. A winner last time out, first time on the all-weather, though. Here's jockey once more, Chad Schofield. Shimmer and Shine, Chad, what did you think of his win last time down the straight? I thought he was very brave. Um, Lotus Breeze kept kicking out in front with the 10 pound claim and to my horse's credit he kept fighting and it was a tough win. Um, I don't think he's a 1000 metre horse so the step up to 1200 is really going to suit. And I think the dirt as well, he's, he, all of his trials on the dirt have been quite impressive and he seems to handle the surface really well so looking forward to seeing how he, how he takes that the next race. How's he come through that run? Yeah, very good. He's, um, he's a lovely big strong horse with a good attitude and um, he, he seems to be improving all the time, which is nice. He's drawn a bit awkwardly. Is that a concern for you going into the race? Um, yeah, obviously it's, it's not ideal, but that's what we've got, so we deal with it. He's a horse who showed a bit of speed last time, so that was nice. And um, In his trials in the dirt previously, he's just sat, sat in behind them with cover and then finished off well, so um, let's hope he can reproduce that sort of thing. And he's trialled with House of Fun and Baltic Whisper as well. Shimmer and Shine does look very smart indeed. Uh, let's have a look at some horses that do have some dirt form to look at. Elite Spirit and Lucky Coin here behind Goldie Flanker. Slightly better run here from uh, Lucky Coin. His first on the all-weather track. Um, interested to see whether he can follow it up. He's not far away from a drop in grade. And Elite Spirit still racing with a bit of enthusiasm, the seven-year-old. He's getting up towards his 50th run. It'll be his 49th there on Wednesday. But he found the line well. And I expect him to find the line well again. Um, he'd be one I'd throw into your first four on quartet for sure. Yeah, I thought it was quite a tough class four race this one, so mm. I didn't find a spot for them. But. All right, OK. What about Amazing Moment? He's our current favourite. Uh, this is him trialling Zach Pert and Paul O'Sullivan combined with the dropping class. Yeah, I really like this horse. He's been downgraded into class four here. Last time he was in class four, he won it. Uh, this was a really strong trial. He's cherry ripe, ready to go. Got a good barrier draw, barrier five, and I think he'll win. Yep, I um, think he'll go pretty close too. He's got options as well. He can be there leading, he can hand up, sit in. Um, hasn't had a run for a couple of months. That's obviously a little bit of a concern, but he has only won one race and it was first up. So that's the offsetting factor. All right, sounds like uh, amazing moments on top for you, though, Paul. Yeah, I've got him on top uh, from Shimmer and Shine. I do quite like this Quinella, but I think amazing moment will win the race. Uh, Shimmer and Shine, he's a young horse and uh, he's open to improvement and he is improving all the time. Bond Elegance should get a really nice run, so I've got him in there for third and born to achieve. Downgraded, really well rated. It's one in the 70s before. He's now rated 60. 2 5 four, one, but two to win. I've got the same trio as Paul, but I'm going to go with Bond Elegance uh, for the reasons which follow. I think amazing moment, first run for a couple of ma months makes him a little bit vulnerable. And Shimmer and Shine, young horse, first run on the surface under race conditions makes him a little bit vulnerable. He may end up being clearly the best horse in the race. Bond Elegance, drawn well, solid for that reason. Him ahead of the two and five. Four, two, five. Seven elite spirit if they do sweep uh, too quickly, he can run on late and not without a chance of running them all over, I wouldn't have thought. Four, two, five, seven. All right.
Exactly the same numbers as you, Brett, slightly different order. Um, but we've all got the same trio there, two, five mm. and four. That was the first leg of the six up uh, as well. Next up for us then, the first leg of the triple trio. That's race four.